welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to pick up the iPhone 15 Pro Max. So excited! This is the 12 Pro, which is what I currently use. And I'm really sad to part with it because this phone has been really good to me. I literally don't have any issues, real complaints about the phone, but I'm upgrading because it's been a few years. This phone has insane options for storage, and me being a content creator, I really, really need that storage. <laughs> of the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest, I... This guy literally cracked the iPhone with his bare hand. Don't fucking touch me. Anywho, let's go. I just filmed a whole thing of me talking about a freaking phone, but I filmed it like in the TikTok format. I don't get the difference between the 15 Pro Max and the 15 Pro Plus. 15 Pro Plus is ginormous for no reason. It supposedly has an extra camera, which, and I was like sitting here debating life because I'm like, do I need the better camera? But then I'm like, I really don't. Like it's like bigger enough to where it's gonna be like giving and this one's just like so big that it's like, can you even fit this in your pants pocket? This one we're absolutely not getting. Like, if you were to get this, you might as well just get the 14 in my opinion. because I have a terrible, terrible sense of direction. How am I gonna get home? Wish me luck. From today's shenanigans, I have the phone. Oh, I also forgot that this phone is USB-C. That's another thing that's like, ugh, you know how many iPhone, like, regular chargers I have right now? I have so many. I have, like, four. One for my bathroom, one for my car, one for my computer. Like, bruh, I had it on clutch. My phone was never gonna die. But anyways, that's fine. Now for the moment we have all been waiting for. Here she is! On the inside, our USB-C charger. I love the way that it like feels and just looks in my hand when I'm holding it. I was really torn between this color or the natural titanium color, but I really, really am so happy that I decided to go with the black. I think just with this like sleek finish and the way it kind of reflects in the light, it just looks really like cool and high quality. Natural titanium, it just wasn't as cool. I've always gotten rose gold. I think at one point I even had like a pink iPhone. I'm really happy to kind of switch it up and I just feel like it matches kind of like that clean girl, like bougie kind of feel. You feel me? This is the first time I'm gonna go ahead and set up my phone and download all my apps and everything like that. So let's get into it. Okay, large, you gotta be blind. Since this is actually gonna take so long to set up, I actually just thought about the fact that I did not get a phone case. I completely forgot to get a phone case. So let's go shopping for some phone cases online. This is literally not a sponsored video, but it should be like, what the heck, I'm putting everybody on. Oh my gosh, do you see these? These are so cute, the little power packs, the method cases, and iPad cases, they sell cases for everything. Um. This 
So my update is finally done on this phone. I didn't realize like a lot of the stuff that is on here is like kind of old and I guess was just sitting like offloaded from the app store. We are going to move on to the what's in my iPhone section of this video. Before we start though, I really, really want to test out the camera. So let's do that because this is a new phone. He is getting into it, yeah. Okay, they have like different modes. They have cinematic mode, which I think is like new. I do not remember this being on a phone, but they only offer it in 1X or 2X. So let's just see what it looks like. Look around. And then we'll also just do like a regular video. I just hope the quality is not like too good because that's an issue I have. I swear I get like new phones and the quality is like too good where I'm like, bruh. Okay, let me try also in 0.5. Everybody, everybody. Let's just see what we're saying here. Okay. And we'll also do like a selfie style video. Let's see. I'm do like exposure up. Let's do one with the exposure down. I kind of like this low exposure look with these little fairy lights in the background, but anywho, cool. Let's just watch this back and just see. The front camera literally looks like what my old back camera used to look like. Like it has that kind of like HD 4K feel from the front camera. So I can't even imagine what the back camera is going to look like. It is a little bit too good, like I was saying. Like, you can see every single freaking pore on my face. Ah! 0.5 is super, it's honestly, it's cuter. It's like a cuter little 0.5. <laughs> like, whoa, cinematic mode is definitely cinematic. It looks very, very high quality. It sure was getting every single pore on my face, though. <laughs> One thing I already noticed is that the silent thing is like right there. I don't think I had like a silent mode like that before. It was just like the little switch. And I also already toggled my um, action button here to just go straight to my camera. So if I quickly want to take a picture or video, I would just press and hold this. Does that have to be unlocked? Oh, wrong button. Okay. Press and hold this. Yay, there we go. Straight to the camera. It's on my iPhone. So first off, just the settings, the home screen. This is exactly how it was before. I have like a little motivation thing. This thing changes quotes like, I think it's, it shuffles it every hour or so. You can change like how much you want it to shuffle. I have the weather, photos, clock, maps, camera, all of my basic apps and things that I would use there. Um, oh, it has my screen time. This is all from my previous iCloud backup which was a few weeks ago so but I already went through and I actually reorganized my phone a little bit while like right after update which I didn't film but um yeah so whenever I sc uh, swipe over we've got all of our basic apps but then the ones that I tend to just use and automatically reach for the most which is TikTok, Snapchat, Instagram, YouTube, YouTube Studio and Safari and then on the bottom I always keep like all of my um, apps where I call and just message and also my music app which is Spotify so that's just already there and ready to go for when I get in the car or whatever I'm doing. Next I decided to group these into um, my own folders because the folders that they pre-make for you here I just kind of like hate them I feel like they're so hard to search through and kind of hard to navigate so I just created my own folders. So first app is called Bills. Um, it just has like basic stuff that I use for work and to access like my banks and such. So that's that. Then we've got games. Once again, this is from like an old backup. I didn't even know I had these games on my phone, but I decided to keep them, especially like Family Feud. Like that app needs to download. I like will randomly think about this game and then I'll download it and play it again when I'm bored. I recently had more apps that are not downloaded but they were on my 12 Pro that I downloaded like within the last week and it was like a surgery simulator game because I, I love healthcare and like the medical field and that kind of stuff so I had like a game where you would do surgeries and then I also I was got I got got by one of those ads where they're like plucking off like 
Debris and dirt and nasty stuff. Like, I have learning. I had um, all of these apps. I didn't even know I had these, but this is from like when I wanted to learn other languages. I was trying to learn Spanish and Korean, um, and it's been like a while. Also, for my real estate course, which I really need to catch up on. And Khan Academy, I had that in high school. So, some of these apps, I'm like, I do not remember having on my last phone, but supposedly they were in my last update. Next, I have my socials. These are all my social medias. So, Be Real, Discord, Instagram. I just started using Discord. Um, Google Me, Messenger, the phone app is in there. X, um, WhatsApp, and Twitch. In my traveling era, basically everything that I use when I'm planning a trip or um, when I am out. Uber, we've got the Delta app. I am a loyal Delta customer. Airbnb, Lyft, Expedia, Viator, TripAdvisor, and Uber Eats. My editing tools right here. I don't really use too many editing apps and I like to keep it really small and simple and easy to do because when you're using too many apps, that's when it gets overwhelming and frustrating. And since I've been using these apps for so long, I know how to use them like to a T, all of the functions for them. And in my last folder, this is just a bunch of random stuff that I don't really reach for, but when I do, like this is my go-to, if that makes sense. We've got Amazon, Wayfair, Target, Pinterest, Fiverr, um, my training app, the fitness app is what I use with my trainer for the gym, and then the zone is my gym's app, and I have to use it to like scan my QR code to um, like enter the gym, and then Life360. So yeah, that is what's on my iPhone. She is fully set up with the new iPhone 15 Pro and this is iOS 17. Honestly, for all, I do not think that it is too different from older generations of iPhone. Like, I had a 12 Pro, so it is a bit different. Even from like the 14 and the 13, I want to say, they, those are a little bit different. But overall, like the feel of the phone, the functionality, and the features, I feel like are all pretty, pretty similar. The main difference that I've noticed so far is like the camera and the quality is like way different and the front camera especially has really good quality little thing up here is like kind of integrated into the phone screen so yeah uh thank you guys so much for watching this video if you liked it make sure to give it a thumbs up pretty chill vibes we got a new phone and we kind of spent the day together to post beauty lifestyle i think the next video i'm gonna do is like a face based tutorial or something because i recently like revamped my makeup and I'm in love with it. I'm so in love with it. Drop some ideas that you want to see from me. Beauty, personal care, day of my life, content creating, all of those types of things if you guys are interested. And yeah, thanks for watching. Bye!